All right, so student life at Waterloo Engineering. What is there to do? Who is there to see? Let's find out. Um, so who am I? My name is Mariko. Um, I'm currently a fourth year mechanical engineering student graduating in April. Uh, last year, I was the Engineering Society president. I've been an engineering ambassador. I've been super involved in women in engineering. I've been involved in the school's racial advocacy service. I've helped out with orientation week. And I'm a very passionate mental health advocate because it's super important and it's something we should all be aware of during our time at university. So starting off, um, first we have the Engineering Society. This is a picture with me and my executive team from my time as president. Um, anyone can join, anyone can come to any events. Uh, basically to be a member of the Waterloo Engineering Society, you just have to pay your Engineering Society fee, which is a part of just the fees that you pay when you come to school. It's $15, not that much. Um, and it's a great way to meet a lot of people outside of your program from different years and kind of like build a friendship and a social circle. Great way to meet a lot of people. So what does the Engineering Society do? Um, they do a lot of different things, but one thing in particular is social events. So we host a lot of different things. There's really something for everybody, everything from like semi-formal dances where you can dress up and dance with your friends. We have land parties and like video game tournaments. We have coffee houses and talent shows. We have sports tournaments. We've done ultimate frisbee and volleyball. We've done paint nights, um, karaoke nights, trivia nights, and most recently we've started lettuce eating contests, but we've also done ramen noodle eating contests. So really there's something for everybody. There's always an opportunity to get out and meet new people. So we also go out and do things in the community often and try and get involved with the broader Waterloo engineering community, as well as the Kitchener-Waterloo community as a whole. So one thing we do every year as well is we go to the Toronto Pride Parade. Um, as the Engineering Society, we march in the parade, we bring our mascot. Uh, every year we also go to the Kitchener-Waterloo Santa Claus Parade. We go to a museum in Kitchener and we volunteer with kids and we teach them about engineering. We do blood drives and then sometimes we go out into the world. We venture out into the world and go skiing or we go to the beach in the summer or we do like a campus movie night. So there's definitely ways to break out of engineering as well and meet lots of cool people in the community. And speaking of community, um, we have a few different community groups on campus. So first off is Engiqueers, that's the LGBTQ plus group um, within engineering. They're super cool. They have just like a chill time every week. Um, you can go there and relax. You can go and meet um, other people in the LGBTQ community. They do um, like queer sex ed. They do um, a queer professional development night. So there's a lot of cool stuff that they do. It's a great place to find a community. Um, we also have the National Society of Black Engineers and they do something called Black Study Hall where people can just come and study and relax and meet other black engineering students. They also have a lot of guest speakers about like what's life like after you graduate, how do you find a full-time job, lots of cool stuff as well as social events. And then we also have women in engineering. Um, they do a lot of cool social events as well. So this term we did like tarot card reading and we also did like a how to use power tools workshop. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on, especially if you're part of one of these groups. Um, you can make a lot of friends. There's definitely challenges that come sometimes with being a more minority group in engineering, but it's definitely, there's an opportunity to find a community of support and meet a lot of people. Okay, so other engineering groups, if you want to be more involved in something else in Waterloo Engineering, that is also a possibility. We have Engineers Without Borders who do a lot of things with kind of a social justice lens. So they've done a lot of work with the indigenous community. Um, engineering orientation, so that's a great way as an upper year to get involved um, and help out first years. Also as a first year, make sure you go to engineering orientation because it's super fun. There's a lot of cool activities and it's a great way to meet new people. Uh, engineering ambassadors help out with giving tours and showing new students around campus. So that's also a super cool group to get involved with. Uh, Hack the North is the biggest hackathon, I think in Canada. Um, and you can help organize that or you could attend. There's a lot of cool stuff. And then Blueprint is another group 
that does engineering work um, with kind of like another social justice lens. They help out a lot of different charities and nonprofits um, with making websites and stuff like that. Super cool. All right, so what else can I do on campus? You may have a lot of friends in engineering, but what if you want to meet friends that aren't in engineering? Maybe they're in science or they're in math. Um, there's a lot of great ways that you can get involved in meeting people on campus. So for example, if you like sports or athletics, you could play intramurals, you could get a team together, you could sign up as an individual and play sports in a relaxed setting. Uh, you could join a varsity sports team. It is a lot of work, but I have a few friends that have done it and they've really enjoyed it and have met a lot of great people. There's also just athletics classes that you can attend. There's things like yoga and things like kickboxing and a great way to just like get involved, exercise, get some endorphins. Uh, and then there's also clubs um, all across campus to meet all kinds of different people. There's music clubs like acapella, there's the jazz band, different groups. Uh, there's more athletics groups like Muay Thai and Dragon Boat. And then there's a whole bunch of special interest clubs like anime club, there's a cheese club, I think there's a coffee club, anything that you're into, you can pretty much find a way to meet people through doing that. Um, if you're in first year, most people do stay in residence. So there's also opportunities to get super involved in your residence and meet a bunch of different people through like volunteering on residence or going to events that your dons will hold in residence. Um, just a good chance to meet people who you're living with. And then always there's volunteer opportunities as well, like in the community, on campus. And if you like giving back or you like being involved, that's a great way to start. And then there's also a whole entrepreneurship community on campus um, of people that have ideas or want to start ideas or want to start startups. So that's another way you can get involved. All right. So why should you get involved? I listed all the different opportunities you have, but why, right? Because engineering is super busy. Everybody knows that. It's not necessarily an easy program. There's always gonna be a lot of work and always a lot of homework. And it is all about prioritization to make time for extracurriculars and student life. Um, but it's important to get involved. This is a quote from one of my friends. It doesn't matter where sports, jazz bands, cheese club because it's important to find something that makes you happy beyond your studies because there are many many times where you are going to want to pull your hair out from calculus um, but it's also important to have something that you can turn to that'll make you smile and you'll be able to hang out with your friends and have a good time and de-stress that's all about balance yeah this is another quote from one of my friends find that place where you belong because it'll get you through the rough times and it'll be amazing during the good times. Memories aren't made with physics textbooks. It's true. Physics textbooks help you become a great engineer and get great grades, but memories and what you'll look back on in like 20, 30 years, that's all through the friends that you make and how you get involved. And yeah, most importantly, put yourself out there because at the end of the day, university is only as fun as you make it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of beliefs that people have about Waterloo, but just because um, something's not immediately in front of your face um, doesn't mean that it's not there. Sometimes you just have to go looking for it, whether that's a community of people, um, a bunch of new friends, super cool events, just different ways of getting involved. It's always, there's always an opportunity for it. And if there's not, you can always make it. You can always start a club, start an event, anything you want, but it's a little bit of effort sometimes, but it's, 100% worth it as somebody that has been able to get super involved and meet a lot of people. My university career would not have been the same if I didn't meet all the amazing friends that I did and have all the amazing experiences that I did. So I definitely don't regret it. I don't think you will either. So get out there and meet new people.